Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra. The topic of um, this academy is multidimensionality. And what, what does it mean to be a multidimensional um, person, being? That's what Rosalie has asked. And uh, she's heard me saying it and mentioning it in different times. Um, basically, we can, um, there's different ways you can look at it, but what I mean by being a multidimensional being, being a multidimensional person, is uh, number one is that if you look at yourself and the kind of things and different hats that you're capable of wearing in different times. For example, um, I use myself. On one level, I'm a spiritual teacher. So that's one hat I wear. On the other hand, I'm, I'm a healer. On the other hand, uh, I'm an employer and I have my employees working for me. And then, uh, in the same time, then I could be an employee. And when I'm hired of uh, putting a retreat together, or I'm doing a workshop, I'm working for people, or I'm doing a private coaching session. So now I'm serving, I'm working, working for someone else so now you wear a different hat uh, i'm also a son and uh to my mother so then i'm someone else uh, in the past i was in insurance industry and i had an insurance uh, agency and so that was a different hat i wore um, so if you look at yourself and you can see that some of you, you, be, you may be a grandma, you may be a mom, um, you have children, grandchildren, you're married, your wife, your husband. So different times, maybe your career, you're a nurse working in a hospital, you're a school teacher, you're a yoga teacher, whatever you do. And in different environments, you shapeshift and you become somebody else. You're wearing a different hat. So this is what I'm refer referring to by being a multidimensional uh, being. Now, you can also look at it uh, simultaneously as you are here in third dimension and you have a body, you have your mind, you have your emotions, you have your bodily needs, physical needs. But in, a, in the meantime, your soul, your higher self, is, does reside in different dimensions. And you have a connection to all dimensions simultaneously. And that's where you're deriving your information is or when you're dreaming you travel to another dimension and if you pay attention you want to you want to go back into your life and take a look that there are moments in your life that you literally will find yourself in a, another dimension now when we're talking about other dimensions, again, everything's got layers, layer, layer, layer. And I'm going to explain all these things to you. So you can, for example, say another dimension, such as a dimension of light. Like when we're doing the work together and you're in meditation, deep meditation, there are times that you... Well, you may experience that you're completely gone and you lose all kinds of senses of your 
body and you just experience that you you are pure light so in that in that moment you have shifted you have shifted into this dimension of light and you've become light then your awareness eventually comes back to your physical body and slowly you come back and you pick up form and you become who you are in this form again then you may be in a situation that you're experiencing tantric tantra tantric sexuality and you dissolve into your partner and you lose all kinds of senses of your physical boundaries or an idea of who you are into the oneness so that is one shift into a different dimension you some people have ex done experiments on psychedelics and right now there's a big movement around the world a lot of people doing um, medicine uh, journeys and they're experiencing shifting dimensions through medicines but um, these are all uh, different ways that triggers us to shape shift and go into a different dimension and we what we do here basically uh, we're doing it through meditation and the type of work we do shifting our consciousness into different levels whether you may be questioning yourself such as who am I you may be challenging yourself and you begin to go inwards and peeling the onion by layer and layer going deeper within yourself and examining the truth of who you are by removing layer layers okay uh, i give you an example for instance you may say okay i'm not my name i can change my name at any time to a different name I can change my last name. I can change my nationality. I can move to a different country and uh, change my nationality. I can change my religion. Um, I can change my hair color. And today's technology allows you that you can change your sex. You can implant things. So you can when you're working on yourself and you're pulling out each layer of defining you as a certain person and you begin to pull that layer out so i'm not my name i'm not my last name i am not my nationality that i've been given I'm not the religion that they have put this label on me as I was born um, by my family or society or tribe. And you start pulling these things out and you go deeper within yourself and you start to change. You begin to see different aspects of yourself. 